Hey, it's Glendon Cameron with the Power of Six, Day Four. Today, we're going to talk about something a little different. I have a dream. You've heard that before, but this is about your dream. You will need open mind seven to 14 minutes per day. Yes. Okay, let's talk about this. There's your big thing and there's a dream. Everyone has a dream. My dream was to become a published author. And that dream started roughly 1993 or four is when I wanted to do it. What held me back was one, fear, two, lack of a support system, and three, I never made a decision to turn my dream into reality. You know, about 94, yeah, 94, 95, somewhere back then. I wrote my first book in 2009, 15 years later. So essentially, if you have a dream, it doesn't have to remain a dream if you take action. But as long as it's, I have a dream, it sounds great in conversation. It sounds wonderful. Yeah, I have a dream. And everyone can talk about their dreams. And it's fantasy. I want to pull your dream from the realm of fantasy and whimsy into reality. So do you have a dream? Have you even thought about it? Or are you one of those people that is, if it seems impossible, it's not going to happen. You feel somewhat afraid to even dream because your dreams will be dashed before you can even have them. Okay. If you're thinking like that, you are sitting, you're a citizen of scared little bitchville. If you are unable to dream, your mental state is jacked up. Dream, damn it. So this exercise is to separate your dream from your big thing or your big thing may be your dream. Don't know. So what you're going to do is take a sheet of paper and write dream. And you're going to take two minutes and write down everything you dreamed about. You know, Ferrari, pink poodles, whatever. Write it down. Then you're going to look at your big thing list and you're going to look at your dream list. May be the same, may not. But today we're going to find out. It's day four. You put two things on your list to be done. Aha, we're going to put a little more meat on the plate. Your two things are the hardest two things you need to do this week, whatever they may be. All right, so it's day four. There should be potentially six things done. If not, don't worry. What you do is the thing you didn't get done yesterday, you move to the top of the list today or for tomorrow. You get the gist and it start. It should start taking some shape because once again, I'm underwhelming you. I'm not giving you a bunch of stuff. I'm not trying to throw you a curveball because I want you to get in the habit of doing this because once you develop the habit, then you develop the process, then the things will start to get done. Once they start to get done, you will see results. The results will be, oh, well, that worked. No, that didn't work. Then you can take the information gained from those results and create better action plans to yield even better results to eventually you get to where you want to be. All right. This is Glendon, day four, rock and roll. And I will see you in the next session.